Okay, next DIY project we have this. It's tape, uh, cassette tape player. Um, obviously I didn't make this, but you notice there's a couple of, there's a knob and a uh, switch on there. And what I did is I kind of circuit bent it um, to make it do some funky things. And I just kind of been messing around with it. It's actually pretty neat. So um, this is a GE3-5027 tape player. It's actually from like the late 90s. It's not a super old one. Um, runs on batteries. And what I did is I just popped it open. I got one of these off eBay. I think I paid about, I don't know, $9 or so for it um, off eBay. And um, everything works on it. And um, I cracked it open and added, kind of did some circuit bending, I guess. But what I did is I found a couple points that control the motor. So I popped her open. I, you know, um, took some testing cables and kind of prototyped it, tried a couple different pot values, switches, etc. And I got to where um, I thought something was pretty cool. And then uh, it's actually quite tight in there, but it does fit. That's why you see these at such opposite ends. Um, there's like a support that comes through here, a plastic support that um, prevents you from putting stuff elsewhere. The battery compartment's like right here. Um, so there's not a whole lot of room to work with, but I did manage to get a, a pot and a switch in there. Um, and then uh, uh, this one happened. So this one actually came with the power cable, which is pretty neat. So first things first, let's grab, I got a few tapes here. I just grabbed out my box of tapes. They have nothing to do with one another. But uh, let's, here, we'll grab Charlie Daniels band. So um, let's just put this in here real quick. So if we hit, oops, if we hit play. So nothing special there, it's a tape player. So I also, um, if I plug this in here, it's got a, a, an output, and um, then plug it into a reverb pedal over here. We're not gonna use the reverb just yet. And I've got a little um, amp that I made here, and so let's plug that in and hit play. Woo, it's loud. Okay, so you get the picture. Now, what's kind of cool about this is this added a pitch control. So um, I'm gonna be uh, pretty quick with the music because I don't want the YouTube patent trolls to think I'm trying to rip off music here. Um, but so, <laughs> it's not gonna play a whole lot of it, but if I do this and then engage this, you hear it slow down. And now if I turn this, You can get it really slow to where it doesn't even sound like music anymore. So that's kind of one of the things you can you can do with this. Um, let's try a different tape here. Um, so we've got an Easy E. Like I said, these are random. We've got the Top Gun soundtrack, the Charlie Daniels Band, and the Easy E tape. I guess I just grabbed a couple random tapes. But uh, let's try this one. I think this might be kind of fun. So let's try this. Let's put it into the reverb pedal. So let's go back to normal speed first. Okay. And let's add some reverb. Kind of what it does.